Hey guys, uh, today we have a special unboxing for you. This could very well be one of the most important devices of 2020. Uh, no, it's not a flagship device. It doesn't have a Core i processor or a terabyte of RAM. Uh, it doesn't really have a whole lot to offer as far as spec sheets go, but what it does have is a $169 price tag. And when we're looking at that price range, there's really not a lot to choose from and there's definitely not much that we would recommend. So, Let's get into it and unbox this. Before we get into this box, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. It's the VPN choice for millions. It works across all devices, wherever you go, at home, on the go, at the office. It's a great VPN. We love it, we use it. If you'd like to learn more about it, check out the link in the description or go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. All right, guys, as I said, this could be a very important device for 2020, and it has nothing to do with the specs that, that come inside this box. Uh, what we have here is the Lenovo Chromebook 3. Uh, this device debuted just this week on Lenovo's website, uh, and while we were poking around, we, we realized that it was available at our local Walmart in a 32 gig model, and it's only $169. Now again, that may not interest you and a lot of people may check out right now, but it's important because there aren't a lot of devices. Actually, I can't think of any devices under $200 that are worth their weight in salt. But this one has some internals that we know work really well. And if it has a decent screen and it's built halfway decently, this device could be one of the most popular devices of 2020. So without any further ado, let's crack this thing open. As you can see, it's just a regular old brown Lenovo box, nothing fancy. Uh, it is two and a half pounds, which is about average for an 11.6 inch device, so it doesn't feel like crazy clunky when I'm taking it out here, but uh, anything important? No, regular old Lenovo block charger, some paperwork. Nobody needs to see that. It's a pretty neat little cheesecloth sleeve they got on here. Uh, yeah, pulling it out. I mean, it feels it feels a little dense. Uh, it's not crazy thick. It's thinner than an Acer R11. Uh, but this is one thing they note on the website: two-tone black onyx lid. I thought this was textured, but it's not. It's actually just two different tones. Kind of gives it a really unique light look. I've seen some that have this across the lid, like some of the Acers, but just on one side. It looks kind of cool. It definitely looks different. So. Um, it feels solid though. It doesn't feel cheap. Like it's not flexing a whole lot. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Let's take it open and see. So, some more, some more little cheesecloth there for you. Yeah, this is a N4020 Gemini Lake R processor which is just a refresh of last year's Gemini Lake, but we've seen that this processor will put out over 16,000 in Octane scores, which if you know anything about Octane scores, we talk about them, have for years. That's a pretty high output. This device is gonna get around just fine. Has four gigs of RAM, and for most users doing schoolwork, homework, uh, stuff for the office, or just regular browsing around home, this is gonna be great. It's gonna play Android apps just fine. It's gonna handle a lot of Linux apps with no problem. It's gonna play Stadia great because as we've seen, Stadia runs great on just about any Chromebook. So uh, let's take a quick break. I'm gonna power this on and get logged in and we'll take a look at the screen and see what else this thing has to offer. All right guys, we're all powered up and logged in and uh, first thing I see, which this was my biggest concern about this device, is the display. Uh, a lot of Lenovo's displays have that really bad TN panel with 220 nits and they're really washed out and the viewing angles are horrible. This one's not great. I'll go ahead and be honest with you. The, the colors are, are a little, little flat and it's a little bit washed out, but it's a lot brighter at 250 nits and the viewing angles are a lot better. So I can already tell you this thing is way better than what they put in the S330 and the 340 and devices like that. Uh, we've logged in and, and as, I, as I mentioned, moving around is easy, it's snappy, everything runs great on it. And uh, you can see the screen here looks pretty good. I mean, and again, we're talking about a $170 Chromebook. This is something that if somebody says, hey, I just need a cheap device, but I don't want to buy something that's garbage, this screen's not bad. 
Uh, as with most Lenovo devices, the keyboard is really good. I mean, it's no Pixel Book Go, but it's really good. I would be comfortable typing on this long term. Uh, the trackpad's obviously not glass. It's a little grabby because of the texture, but the click's really good. It's really shallow, nice, sharp click. Uh, it does have some flex now at the bottom, but that's to be expected with these all plastic devices. Uh, they could have trimmed the bezels a little bit, but it's not bad, okay? It's it's kind of what we expect when we look at an 11.6 inch device. Again, this isn't touchscreen, it's not a convertible, it has about a 170 degree bend. I don't know why you would wanna put your device like that, but you can if you want to. Um, around the outside, it's got great amount of ports. You have two each of a USB-C, and to each USB-A on each side. Has a micro SD card slot, of course the Kensington lot, uh, audio, audio input. And other than that, this device looks really good for $170. Uh, I am gonna drive it for about a week, give you guys a full review, but I still think that this device could be a big deal for a lot of people. Another neat little thing, and I've noticed Lenovo's doing this a lot lately, they're putting this little barcode on here that you can scan, and it just says e-support on there, so I'm assuming you can scan that. We'll, we'll check it out in the review. I'm sure you can scan it, and it'll take you to a product page or something with some PDFs that you can check out. But that's been it for this one, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna drive this for about a week to bring you a full review. Uh, if you like this, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Um, until next time, we'll see ya.